First, let's start with a normal finding. First, with QB or PUT. Q depends on the kidney shadow, no abnormal shadow, no radio-opaque shadow, no abnormal configurations. In contrast study, first with IVU, there is total opacification of both pelvic LCL system, both ureter, total opacification of urinary bladder, no uh, filling defect, no diverticuli, no strictures. In cyst therapy, also complete opacification of urinary bladder with no filling defect or diverticuli. Only the smooth rounded, smooth outline rounded filling defect of the balloon. Ascending urethrography also complete opacification of the urethra with no structure, no filling defect. Male urethra, as you can see, the whole parts, the whole course, and the whole part with no filling defect or abnormal structure. In the pathology, first we have the congenital anomaly, first and right ectopic pelvic kidney. As you can see here, there is a right-sided pelvic kidney, and here there is a duplex kidney, bilateral renal duplication, duplication of the uh, calicea system, and duplication of both ureters. As you can see here, there is unilateral duplication with dilatation of the upper moiety. Horseshoe kidney, as you can see, horseshoe kidney and um, contrast study and CT. Crossed fused ectopic left kidney, and here is a pelvic junction obstruction, dilatation of the calices and um, pelvis with stricture of the ureter, it called balloon ring sign. Like this one, and here's ectopia physica, right to seal, copra head or spring onion sign. In your tract stone, you depend on radio opaque uh, shadow in plain x ray, like this one. You can see a radio opaque shadow and um, a right hypochondrium. So it could be gallbladder stone or renal stone in this image it's renal stone and differential diagnosis for gallbladder stone and this one it's um, the opposite this one is gallbladder stone it's much higher um, than the previous one so this one is gallbladder stone it's a ridge opaque shadow and right hypochondrium likely to be gallbladder stone and differential diagnosis with right renal stone here it's renal stone, very obvious. Multiple renal stone, multiple calcial renal stones, and there's another left ureteric stone. Here is a sign called um, happy eye sign, when you can easily identify a sign like here. It's easy to identify, there is a right renal calculi, so you know, neglect um, the rest of the image. And this is a big mistake. You should observe each part of the image so there may be any hidden abnormality you uh, didn't detect in the first. So don't say it's only um, right renal calculi and neglect this uh, small uretic stone. This one left renal stone and uh, urinary bladder stone. Left renal stone and uh, left uretic one. Also here there is a mini picture uh, for plain x-ray with a big shadow of calculi here, bilateral model. Um, this is for differential diagnosis. This is calcified mesenteric lymph node. It is not uh, along the course of the ureter, not in the um, normal side of the kidneys, nor not in the normal side of urinary bladder. Vague distribution and multiple. Um, so it's for calcified mesenteric lymph node. Staghorn stone, bilateral staghorn stone, bilateral lower third ureter stones. As we end plain x ray, it's not uh, accepted to see red opaque shadow. If there is red opaque shadow, it is pathological. So here it referred for um, vesicle calculi, two vesicle calculi. 
this one there is um, well defined round shape bridge opaque shadow but it's not in the normal side of urinary bladder so it's likely to be calcified to try and fibroid here in plain x-ray as you can see there is faint opaque shadow in right renal stone and an IVU there is a filling defect with mild hydronephrosis uh, sorry hydronephrosis here in plain x-ray there is ridge opaque shadow in the pelvis and in the IVU there is delayed uh, excretion excretion and as we said before don't get with a happy eye sign and neglect there is um, duplication in the left kidney and left ureter Um, here in plain x-ray um, they can see in the right upper third ureteric stone here and in the, page, in the um, IVU there is a filling defect in the upper third uh, or proximal ureter stone in the lower third of left ureter here with mild left hydrate nephrosis this picture of stone and CT lower calisal stone as you can see here in plain x-ray and in CT and there is middle third um, left ureteric stone in urinary tract masses there is renal or ureteric or urinary blood bladder masses or um, extra physical prostatic mass first with renal mass as you can see there is a uh, well-defined, faintly calcified um, shadow is likely for calcified cyst. There is an irregular outline, ill-defined filling defect involving the pelvis and the upper ureter. Mostly, it's transitional cell carcinoma. Most of malignant tumor are irregular, uh, irregular outline or ill-defined. As you can see here in the pelvis and in the ureter, there is multiple small filling defect. It's called urethritis cystica. And here in the lower third of the right kidney, sorry, right ureter. Here in the base of the bladder, there is a regular outline filling defect, um, likely for malignant tumor. And here, as you can see, there is left hydroerythronephrosis. The ureter is tortuous. And there is complete filling of urinary bladder. There is um, filling defect in the urinary bladder just adjacent to the ureter, so it's at urethrophysical junction. And there is smooth tapering of the lower end of the ureter, so there is likely um, a mass at the physical ureteric uh, junction causing its obstruction. Here, horse straw kidney with irregular outline filling defect at the base and uh, right, uh, right lateral wall of urinary bladder. Here is a smooth filling defect in the base of the bladder, likely due to uh, ben benign enlargement of the prostate. While here, the filling defect is irregular and lobulated, likely by um, malignant enlargement of the prostate. Um, here in ascending urethrogram, there is a structure in the penile urethra. Thanks.